is Dr. Rousseau. I'm here with Debbie, and Debbie's had some pretty good results thus far, and uh, I asked her if she'd be willing to share her, uh, her story, and uh, luckily she said yes with a little bit of persuasion. <laughs> um, so some of the complaints that she had when she came in, I'm going to read from her chart here so I get them all, uh, energy, gas burping, bloating, uh, bowel irregular irregularities, body pain, and um, a few pounds that wouldn't budge or some of the main ones, right? Am yeah. I forgetting any key ones there? No, those are the main ones. Hair and nails, maybe a little bit. Hair and nails, not, yeah. Not perfect. A little bit. So uh, we changed her diet. Um, we also put her on some female hormone support. We also gave her some um, thyroid support to support conversion of T4 to T3, along with some, a multivitamin, some vitamin D, and also some digestive support to help her break down her food a little bit better and some probiotic. Um, and you've had great results. Do you want to kind of share the, great the changes? I've, I've virtually eliminated aches and pains that I didn't even know were related to the way I was living and eating. That's right. And uh, so the pains and the aches, my hair and nails are a little bit nicer now. I sleep through the night because uh, the pains don't wake me up. Right. I feel great, you know, digestive wise. Yeah, um, you had said that those, yeah. are the gas burping and bloating, you had those said Those are gone. gone. Awesome. I don't have any, any digestive problems. Right. And um, you lost a little bit of weight. And too, I right? lost, yeah, I yeah. lost almost 10 pounds okay and Debbie also is not a you know not a very tall gal so that that on no. your frame it's gonna go pretty far right? yeah it made a big difference so we have pretty much had everything nailed down now except for two things um, there's uh, mood swings that still haven't fully kind of turned around yet no. um, so it may take a little while for the hormones to balance out and there's also a little bit of joint pain that's residual. A little bit. Now the interesting thing is we just had her go through reintroducing eggs and nuts because we had her on the autoimmune paleo protocol and she just reintroduced eggs and nuts and the joint pain that was all gone, some joint pain came back. So we're gonna well, have I her- I developed a new a joint new, pain. Yeah, a new, a new, all the prior joint pain went away but a, yeah. new, a new joint pain emerged. Yes. So that may be from the food, so we're gonna have her cut the eggs and the nuts and seeds back out but on our lab work, we also found a borderline elevation of H. pylori, um, which may be an issue, but more interestingly, we found chlamydia pneumonia, which is a bacteria that's been known to cause joint pain. Uh, and so we're gonna start in a program today to eradicate that bacteria with some herbs. Um, and I'm hoping between either the diet or the bacterium, we're really gonna get to the bottom of where both the joint pain and the mood swings are, are still coming from. That would be great. <laughs> so we'll check in hopefully with good results but we'll let you know either way <laughs> um, but even if we don't get any more improvement I still think you've done awesome because you had you know you. over 80% of your complaints are gone yes so we got a couple little things that we're gonna try to figure out and we'll keep everybody posted so thank you so much for talking with us thank you